Guys, check it out. If you like ginger, you're going to love this cover. This is Ginger Chicken Indian Restaurant Star Guy. This is infused with ginger. I've got some green chilies in there. I've got some mixed powder and so forth. Thank guys. Absolutely delicious. Check out the recipe. Enjoy. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Hey guys, hope you guys are well. It's Babble here from the Bengali Cook. Guys, this week I've got a another amazing recipe. This one is ginger chicken. Um, so we're gonna have to use ginger and I'm gonna make it slice, spice it up a little bit as I like it. If you don't want to spice it up, guys, you don't have to. Just stick to the standard uh, mixed powder and so forth. Um, having said that, guys, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, and let's get cracking on. So first thing I'm gonna do, pan's been on heat, so I'm just gonna put the heat Back on slightly high. Add one chef spoon of oil. And again, I'm using vegetable oil. So first thing we're gonna do with this one, guys, that is our ginger. I'm gonna use one heap teaspoon of garlic and ginger, sorry, in there. There we go. Just turn it down a little bit. Get that one nice and infused. I've also got my mixed service onion here. So as soon as the colour starts changing, guys, I'm going to add one chef spoon of service onion. Nice and at this point I would use, I would add in a pinch of fenugreek methyl leaf, but I've actually ran out and I forgot to get some the other day. Um, so you can add it on now. So all this come together. Pinch of salt. Don't forget, um, everything's got salt in, so the base gravy, the pre of chicken, all of that guys has got salt in, so just use it to your taste. As well as I've literally cooked everything before I started this video, so everything, so the onions, the chicken, the base gravy, everything already is piping warm. Well, piping hot right there. Right, so let's get cracking on with our spices. So again, I'm going to be using one teaspoon of my mixed curry powder, about a quarter teaspoon of chili. There we go. And then add in one teaspoon of, of, of tomato puree. You can smell the ginger already, guys. Put them out. This is lovely. Right, so again, cook the spice well. As soon as it dries up, we're going to add a bit of base gravy. Let me add my chicken pieces in now as well. And again, sometimes I get questions asked about what do, what would I do with the the juice or the gravy of the chicken. You can add it at this stage in here, or as well as if you've got it left over, you can also add it add it in the base gravy. So blend it blend it together, then add it to the base gravy. If you are not fussed about um, you know being vegan or vegetarian uh, meals, we're not making. Um, so there we go. Great. So I'll just add a couple of spoons in here. This is packed full of flavour, so it's worth so don't waste it, to add it in there. So we're still cooking the spices that in here. So you know what, this pan is, has, has, has been really well, so there's less spillage um, and so forth around the cooker. Right, so let's get some base gravy in here now. To the first layer. Right, 
Don't forget guys, hit that like and subscribe button and do comment, let us know what you think of this recipe. Okay, back again. So you can see the oil has risen to the top, so what we do now is add in our final layer of the squeezy. So again, add as much or as little as you want, um, due to the consistency, looking for whether you want to make it a thick sauce curry or a, you know, have, have it more sauce. So you would look, be looking to add more base gravy and cook it out, not as much. There we go, so we're just going to let that cook. Put it on high heat, let that cook. So at this point, what I'm going to do is add some ginger that I've chopped up there. So again, just a handful, well not a handful, but just a few pieces, as you can see. And maybe in. And again, just to get the ginger flavour more in the Add a piece. I do like my chilies by like green chilies. I'm going to add a few green chilies in there to give it an extra bit of kick. If you don't want to use it, then use it. So as you can see guys, all the water is amazing. So this is the thickness that of the sauce I'll be doing for the thing. Still not the good one. Absolutely delicious. And again you can enjoy this with you know with your standard rice, pillar rice, non bread, chapatis and so forth guys. Uh, absolutely delicious. Right, so here we go, back. This is it. So I'm just going to turn the heat off. This is our ginger chicken Indian Russian style. So enjoy the recipe and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm just going to take some pictures and so forth for the videos. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.